Let's go over contract year Calvin because he made some amazing putts just like this. Make sure to subscribe so you can see more compilations like this where Calvin is a maniac. All right, so first off, let's just go over how Calvin did for the year. Now, I know you may be thinking he had a pretty rough year, but honestly, if you go over his podium finishes, it was not bad at all. So we got third at Champions Cup, third at LVC, second at Texas States, second at OTB, and then first at Jonesboro, and first d -Glo. I would say that two wins for your season is not bad at all. But with that said, it was his contract year, and I know that he's staying with Innova, and I know he's going to be making a ton of money off signature discs. And if you're making 500 foot drives like this, you're obviously doing something right. But with that said, I think he could have been making a lot more with another company if he had an amazing year and made a great sign with another company. But let's talk about what Calvin's doing right. I think this shot is a great example of what he does so perfectly. So he's throwing hard overstable forehands and he gets right up to the basket. Um, he also has this amazing ability to flip up his Eagle and Halo Destroyers, which I think is just amazingly difficult and amazingly impressive because I do not see how that is even possible. I've thrown a Halo Destroyer. It is not flipping for me. It is not even getting close. So he throws with so much perfection to his form and so much velocity that he can just generate that power like it's nothing. And I think he has this amazing ability to focus when he needs to. There is a big criticism that he actually like chokes in final rounds, and there is definitely some evidence to that. But if you look at his uh, play most of the time, he is just dialed in and knows how to hit his putts again and again. He just puts the pizza in the oven. And I think there is nobody that truly has this ability to be so dialed in so consistently. I know that Paul is playing really good in those pressure situations, but I think in those distance putts, I think Calvin is the man and will hit it more times than not. Um, I think this Jonesboro instance is a perfect time where it shows that Calvin hits his lines when he needs to. He definitely <laughs> could have choked on this playoff hole, but he doesn't. He does the exact flip up destroyer line that he needs to, parks it <laughs> after Paul just totally choked and gets the win. Uh, I love how much enthusiasm Calvin will show for this win. He get, gets a couple fist pumps, calls good. He, he got the win, he's happy. And then it's just a nice judge position to Champions Cup. And here it is so, so much more difficult to hit your lines. That's why I find it all the more impressive that Calvin was able to hit crazy lines like this, where he flips up his, uh, I think that's a Star Destroyer, and he gets so much distance that an eagle is just pretty much inevitable at this point. Um, I know for me, I would still be choking that upshot, but he does not choke. He hits his line, gets his eagle putt, and moves on to the next hole. I saw this again and again. He will not quit. <laughs> Even if it's 80 feet, he throws it on so much perfectly extended lines that it has no choice but to hit the basket. And then you have these crazy forehands where I don't even see the line. I've watched this clip again and again, and I, I don't know how he can hit this. But of course, like he does, makes the eagle putt. Um, and then you have instances like this, where I think this is just pure creativity. I think only him and uh, Simon have this ability to just focus, hit <laughs> your line. Don't even worry about a leaf. doesn't matter because you get, you get the putt. Um, I actually didn't really want to include LVC that much, but I do think... It is impressive that a 457 foot uh, par three and park it like it was nothing. I don't know <laughs> how that is even possible. Here we have another instance of Calvin throwing his hard overstable forehands on a crazy hyzer, and then he almost banks it in for the eagle. But you know what? He doesn't miss his comebackers either. He gets a, like 45 blind foot putt, and I don't know how this is even possible. So we got a third place finish at LVC, which is still pretty good. So next up, we have D-Glow. And I think this just lines up so, so well for Calvin's game. It is straight distance with a ton of accuracy, but it's accuracy that if you throw a confident line, you can hit it. It's not like the most crazy narrow lines. It's just hit it hard and hit it on a narrow, narrow shot. And then you have instances like this where it's basically just let him throw a hyzer and let him bounce all the way to the basket, which is just absurd. 
Like it's 915 foot hole, they makes it look like it's it's an easy par three. Um, so this uh, eagle line, I think is something that I've worked so so hard to get. I definitely cannot get 480, but I strive so hard to just pound it straight for as far as I can with my eagle. And I have definitely learned that from Calvin. <laughs> and then we have insane upshots like this, where it just makes no sense. And then we have an insane uphill upshot, where he bounces it right up to the basket. And I don't know how he does it so consistently. But honestly, I think this one takes the cake. He <laughs> gets the most insane bounce, where it goes right up to the basket. This basically is ace-worthy. And then you have the end of the tournament. He went OB. He is so out of contention right now. But he <laughs> drills it, gets like a 500-foot drive, and bangs in that putt. So I think at this time, I was actually still counting him out. I thought Corey was going to get the win. But Corey gets the most unlucky OB of the entire year, goes out of bounds. Calvin just needs to get his par, call it good, and he gets his second win. And I was thinking, maybe this might be Calvin's year. It doesn't quite end that way. But still, we hug it out. Calvin's a bro for life. <laughs> All right. Then we have OTB, where it's just, it's just putt time. <laughs> no matter where he's going, he's hitting that putt. And something to note is that this course was actually very, very windy. A lot of people were hitting uh, chains and not going in. But Calvin just knows how to adjust his disc so that he can bang it no matter where he's at. This is like an 80-foot putt, but he doesn't care. He, <laughs> he drills it perfectly in the heart of the chains. Um, so there's certainly a lot of uh, potential. I mean, it's hard to say potential for Calvin because he's been playing since like 2015. But I think there's certainly a world where Calvin wins worlds, he wins majors, he wins everything. But this is the hole where it just shows Calvin is not here to play. Calvin is not playing around. He drills it from, I think, like 100 feet with his AVR. Bounces it in the most bizarre manner. <laughs> it's just, it just got to make you laugh. There is nobody with more fervor and more excitement to watch than Calvin. And I think this shot is another great example of that. He went so long on a hole that people don't even get close to. And then he makes his like 50 foot comeback. Here. It was kind of sad to watch him destroy this course and <laughs> make an insane uh, drive on 18 and then take home second place, but still a great performance and nothing to be ashamed about. Um, and I think these lines are honestly more Simon esque than even Simon. I don't think he's throwing that. And I don't think he's <laughs> making this crazy uh, birdie save. It is just so pure and so <laughs> consistent. But this is the hole that really takes the cake. I've watched it again and again and again, and I still cannot believe, he cannot believe, that it went in. It was so perfect. <laughs> it barely even hit the chains. So with that said, what do you guys think? I truly believe Calvin is a gem. Calvin is one of the greats and will be the greats for quite some time. I love his Cavalier style and how he can destroy on the course. So let me know your favorite Calvin moment in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Wild Runs, signing out. Peace.